What's going on everyone? Force White here bringing you guys a brand new video and today I want to talk to you guys about something that is that's a question. I mean um, this is something that I never thought of when I was a kid and I'm sure many of you that are rural letter carriers out there that you didn't think of when you were a kid but um, was this a career option that you would take? And right now I'm sure it's Christmas time and some of you guys are probably second guessing your career choice in being a rural carrier because you're dealing with hundreds, 200 of packages that you have to deliver on a daily basis. So I'm sure you guys are reconsidering your career choice, but just think, just remember that it will be okay and after the holidays everything will go back to normal okay but this video is for people that might be interested in, in uh, interesting in pursuing a career as a rural carrier what to expect is it easy is it hard um, so let's jump right into the video okay so being a rural letter carrier is it hard is it easy well there's a few different uh, aspects that go into that. Some people think it's really hard and they don't make it very long. Some people think it's really easy and they do it for the rest of their life. Um, one of the reasons I got into being a rural carrier as like most rural carriers is the pay. I mean the pay is really good especially if you live in West Virginia. I mean there's not many jobs around here that offer uh, the pay that the Postal Service produces. So I would say that that the pay is the main reason that I got into it. Now when I got into it, the job that I had before that was I was actually a store manager for Verizon. So I had no idea um, what to expect. But once I got into it, I started learning about it. I have really enjoyed it. It can be difficult at times, especially this time of the year because it's Christmas time. You're working long hours um, every day and you're working six days a week most of the time. You get off Sunday and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> you're making two and three trips. So let me break it down to you what a route looks like. Now this route is 70 miles and there is 600 mailboxes on the route. Now on this route in particular, there's a lot of deadhead, which means you're driving a, a pretty good distance before you're like from one mailbox to the next. So you deliver that mail, there's a lot of deadhead, and then you're at your next mailbox. So there's a lot of distance between mailboxes. So as far as mail volume goes, there's not a ton of mail volume. I mean, 600 mailboxes, obviously there's gonna be quite a bit, but there's not a ton. Um, but most people that have a, that long of a route have a lot more mailbox. But what you expect is um, around Christmas time, there's normally, I would say around 150 packages. So normally in my little vehicle, if you have not checked out that video, go ahead and give it a watch. But in my little vehicle, I normally have to make two trips. So I will deliver like the first part of the route, which for me, it works out good because I deliver the first part of the route and then stop by the post office and pick up my second part of the route and deliver that. That way it makes it easier. I have a lot more room in my vehicle. But you're looking at two runs during Christmas time. So it can be very difficult. It can be overwhelming. In the beginning, I can guarantee you, you will be overwhelmed. The mail, when the mail volume, normally like Mondays or Saturdays, those are the real heavy days, you will be over, overwhelmed with mail, with packages, with magazines, everything. And then you'll have like a, a boss that's probably griping at you to get back at a certain time. But it will get easier, I promise it will get easier. And here's the thing, when it becomes Christmas time, so my route is rated for about nine hours, okay? So if I get finished in seven hours, if I get finished in eight hours, if I get finished in four hours, I'm still getting paid for nine hours, which is, which is awesome. Normally that doesn't happen. You, I might get done in maybe seven or eight hours and I'm still getting paid for nine, which is great. Um, <clears throat> in the Christmas time, they actually switch it over to hourly because more than likely you're working more than, than that nine hours in a day, so you're getting paid hourly, which is which is fantastic. So, you know, either way you're covered there, but normally at Christmas time you're working the long hours, it's tough, 
But then in the summertime, everything slows down. You don't have that many packages. You don't have that much mail volume. And I can get done with my route in about five to six hours and still getting paid for nine hours. So that is huge. That is amazing. So if you guys are looking at becoming a letter carrier, I wanna say this, it's gonna be overwhelming in the beginning, but once you learn your mail route, once you learn your case, you know, everything starts to come together. You, you, you have your own way of sorting your mail, you have your own way of sorting your packages, and everything starts to come together, it will be easier. And I did not decide that this was gonna, I wasn't little and being like, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a mailman. But it turned out with the pay and everything, you, it was hard to turn down. I mean, once the job was, was offered to me, it was really hard to turn down. Here I am, I'm about three, three, a little over three years in, and I've had a good time with it. There are definitely days where I don't wanna do it or I don't wanna be there. I would love to be doing something else, but it's been a great job overall and I plan on putting many more years in. But uh, if you guys are thinking about becoming a, ma a mail carrier and you have any questions, you can drop your comments below and I will help you guys out with any information you may need. And those of you that are, that are mail carriers, um, right now where it's Christmas time, my heart goes out to you. Uh, I hope you guys are making it through. Stick through it. I know it's tough, but it will get easier, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.